You're up early. Yeah, I just wanted to get a head start on going through Jeff's loans. That's kind of you. But really, what's the point? Putting them into piles isn't going to change how much I owe. Yeah, I know that. I'm just trying to organise them according to priority. Urgent, not so urgent, already paid. Well, at least one of them's being paid. Oh, actually, that's my shopping list for Speedo. In other words, we're even worse off than I thought, hmm? Look, I've been thinking. What about selling the community centre? Please don't ask me to do that. Gran. No! It might be your only option. Knowing that place exists was one of the few things that got me through prison. Not for myself, but for the women I met there who have nowhere else safe to go to. If they lose that, then Jeff really has had the last laugh. Right, OK, well, let's just see what the bank says this afternoon. And these are Jeff's debts. If they want their money, well, then they're just going to have to dig him up. Anne, I'm just popping into work, but I'll be back later to go to the bank. Um, before you go, I don't suppose you've seen that little wooden box of mine? Uh, your old jewellery box? But yeah, you didn't unpack it and put it somewhere? Not that I remember. Are you sure? I think so. Why? I put some jewellery in it that Sharif gave me. What jewellery? He gave me some jewellery. It was his pathetic attempt to make up for his having an affair. Look, I know you think I'm mad for not selling the community centre, but I thought if I sell the jewellery, then that might help to pay off some of Jeff's debt. Look, it's worth a go, but honestly, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. Yes, I know that. It's not the money. Some of your father's old medals are in there as well. Dad's? Yeah. Could you phone Ryan, see if he moved it? It's why I'm tearing my hair out. Look, I'm late as it is, but I will ask him as soon as I get to work, I promise. And don't panic, all right? If he doesn't know, then I'll just come back and I'll help you look for it. It can't have gone far. OK. okay. See you later. What's happened? <sighs> the medals, I've looked everywhere, they're gone. Is this what you're looking for? You found it. It was in the safe at Speed Doll. You must have put it there. Oh, did I? Well, the main thing is, it was still there. Have you got the key? Oh, that I did discover. They're oh. gone. Oh, Jeff. You did find it. Gran, I'm so, so sorry. You must have sold them or thrown them away. The medals, they were the only thing I had left of your father's. I can't believe I was so stupid. Listen to me, OK? You need to stop blaming yourself. I'm sure there'll be something the bank can do. But that won't bring back your father's medals, though, will it? Let's face it, I am a foolish, pathetic, old woman. That might be Sally. She said she might pop around. Mrs. Metcalf? No, I'm her granddaughter. Can I help? My colleague and I are enforcement agents. The county court has issued an enforcement notice authorising us to collect outstanding debts on their behalf. Hang on. But your bailiffs? I'm sorry, but you can't just rock up here unannounced. You're right. Which is why we sent you a letter two weeks ago outlining what would happen. Only we never received a reply. Well, look, even if that's true, none of these debts are my grand's. Right. So this isn't your name on a court order? Yes, but I am... Um... But you don't understand. My gran, she was in an abusive relationship. It was her husband who ran all these up. OK. Well, where's he? He died. I see. I'm very sorry for your loss. Don't be. But I'm afraid it still doesn't change anything. It's your name on the court order, so you need to pay. No, no, I'm not having this. We've only just found out about these debts. I want to talk to a lawyer. That's fine. 
But all we need to do today is look at making a controlled goods agreement. What? What's that? We work out a payment plan that you can afford. We'll make a list of items it will take to satisfy the judgment if we have to. Well, you're not taking any of her things. After what her husband did, she's hardly got anything left. We won't remove any items as long as your grand keeps up with the repayments. What do we do? I don't know what to do. Oh, it's okay. Don't panic. All right, fine. There's an old TV upstairs. You can put that on your list. I'm sorry, love. We'll need more than one telly to cover a debt this size. Please, just do what you need to do and then go. Yeah, but don't take anything. We won't. But don't worry. It's just a list. Are we okay to start? <laughs> We're going to sort all this out. I promise you. Is this your signature, Mrs. Metcalf? Yes. Yes, it is. I don't doubt what you said is true. I'm so sorry for what's happened to you. But unfortunately, it looks like you knew about the loan agreements. You signed for them. And the bottom line is, you'll have to pay them back. She was coerced. Her husband forced her to take out the loans. I do understand, but I'm afraid that we hear this excuse quite a lot. It's not an excuse. People take out loans, spend the money, and then falsely claim they were forced to do it. They're not false claims. She was abused. <sighs> that may well be the case, but there is no way of proving that. Mr Metcalf is no longer here. If there was no criminal investigation, then responsibility for Mrs Metcalf's finances rests with her. She really should have listened to her husband. Then she wouldn't be in this mess, would she? Silly little Yasmin. Always thinking she knows best. I... I need to go. Gran? Hey, you feeling better? A little. What are we going to do? We'll fight it. With what? We have no money. They might sell the house. We'll be homeless. OK, calm down. We're not going to be homeless. But look, I know you don't want to. Selling the community centre might be our only way out of this. No. But it'll clear all the debts. You could pay everything off, start again and keep the house. It's all I have left of me, the real me, before Jeff. Jamila House. It's named after your mother. I can't sell it. Gran. He's still here, isn't he? Ruining everything for me. I will never be rid of that man. Don't look now. There's a couple of fellas over there behind you up for the last half hour. I'm trying to ignore them. Sorry, Eileen. Yeah, we know that we messed up. You can say that again. Stay where you are. No closer. <sighs> Look, I know it doesn't make it right, but it's kind of nice to have a laugh again. You know, ever since Oliver died, I've not really fancied having a laugh. Yeah, I know, I know that he was only winding me up, but it was still nice to have the old Steve back. Tim's been through it and all, you know, with his dad dying and really worried about Faye, aren't you, mate? Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, I suppose you both had a really rough year. We ran Gail. Apologise. Mm. What did she say? No, not really. She just shouted and put the phone down. Yeah, but we sent her some chocolate, so hopefully that'll do it. I doubt it. This is Gail we're talking about. She was furious with me before this. Well, in many ways, nothing's worse. I suppose that's the best we can hope for these days. At least, nothing's worse. Well, why don't I get us all a drink and we could put this behind us? Two pints and whatever she's having. Champagne bottle, most expensive. <laughs> Ooh, big spenders. What are you celebrating? Yeah, come on. Hey, I've spoken to the estate agent. Alia, I don't want to sell the community centre. I know, but we've been through this. There's no other way. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Well, it's fine. I can go meet her on my own. You don't have to come. I, I feel sick to my stomach. All this pain and worry. It's all my own fault. Please don't say that. He manipulated you. Jeff was right. I'm stupid. No, you're not. You're brave and you're strong. 
don't feel like it. Yeah, well, you are. But this was the one place I was holding on to. My way out of this mess, a safe place, somewhere he hadn't tainted. I won't let him take this away, too. Please. You'll have another heart attack if you carry on like this. And I'm scared you won't survive the next one. I can't help it. All I feel is panic. There's no escape. <laughs> 